So you want to know what are the top keywords the URLs in the search engine results page are ranking for? You can get a list of those keywords instantly with our SERP keywords feature. Now let me show you how it works. So Keywords Everywhere added a new widget called SERP Keywords. It shows you a list of the top common keywords all of these ranking pages are ranking for. And we now show you a short list of the top keywords that each ranking page ranks for in the SERPs as well. And it's just below the page title. So aside from this search term, how to make bone broth, we can instantly see what additional keywords each one of these URLs rank for as well. Like for example, the forkedspoon.com also ranks for bone broth recipe, how do I make bone broth, and so forth. Now, if you want to see the full list, just click on view all and keywords everywhere will show you the top 5,000 keywords for the URL and they are all listed right here. So how is this beneficial? First off, regarding the SERP keywords widget, it's important to know what other keywords a page is ranking for to determine which is the best keyword you should be targeting. And aside from that, you need to know what other keywords you should be mentioning in your content as well. So when you are planning your content, should your main keyword be how to make bone broth, or should it be one of these top common keywords here that the top ranking pages rank for as well? And you might not have thought about many of these other keywords. So taking a look at this SERP keywords list is very beneficial to look at. So aside from our original target keyword of how to make bone broth, which has an average monthly search volume of a little over 22,000, there are these other keywords that these top ranking pages rank for as well, and many of them actually have higher search volume. This one stands out to me, Bone Broth Recipe. It has 33,000 average monthly searches. So you might want to consider this keyword as your main target keyword. You'll also want to mention these keywords or variations of these keywords in your content as well. You could even go further and create new pages for the more unique keywords. Okay, so go ahead and try out this new SERP keywords feature. And if you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel and check out some of our other videos on the screen. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.